Hello, everybody, and welcome back to This or That with Kobe and Jat. I like consistency. Mm -hmm. We're here every week. Back at it. It's always This or That. We've only ever swapped sides once, so everything as it should be. We have six slides today. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. This or That. Bigger CLG counter, X special or wild card teams? This is actually, because if you want to attack this from a numbers perspective, this is actually pretty close. I think yeah. Xpecial's percentage win was just posted mm -hmm. on Reddit and it was insane. It was like 70 plus percent all time yeah. win record versus CLG, no matter what team it's he's on. It's pretty amazing, because Xpecial has been on good teams. I mean, he was on the early TSM teams and they were pretty dominant. But then he was on the Liquid teams that just decided to slam CLG in playoffs year yeah. after year. However, to me, this is an interesting one because mo all of uh, Xpecial's victories over CLG are like normal or you know playoffs of North American LCS. Yeah. These are when it matters at you know worldwide and, competitions, and, and it happens yeah. so many times that that one. I feel like this one stings more. I have to go, but with I that. think he has a better win record. So I'll actually go with he's technically a bitter, a bigger counter because he has won more games for yeah. CLG. Uh, but this one definitely hurts more because it's at international competition. They lost both games to Albus Knox Luna and they lost one game to Supermassive. So that's 75% as far as I can tell. And also pain, which makes it a little bit lower. Those hurt, that's man. True. Those are, they beat a Korean team and then lose to these guys. So from like, you better be a big counter if you're able to beat a <laughs> Korean team and you can't beat. Um, the I, sheer I call number of games that Xpecial has won versus CLG though, oh, yeah. I think it's the Far higher better. volume. Fine, but <laughs> stings when they lose to wildcard teams. I'm going with that. Both true. Slide number two. This or that or the other thing. They've done this before. Uh, pleased. How far can Dick go? Cotter finals, semifinals, finals. I do not have an accent. I was just reading quarterfinals. <laughs> Cotter finals. Um, I'm going to go scratch this one off. I actually think that uh, Team Dignitas. Mm. Uh, oh, man, this is actually. So dumb. looking at the standings, if Team Dignitas beats COG, there's a good chance they get the number three seed. Yeah. Uh, and then I think they can beat Envy and therefore make it to semifinals. Yeah. But then will they be able to beat the TSM or the Immortals in the semifinals? That's, that's the, the thing. That's why I'm kind of scratching this one off, but I feel pretty good about semifinals. Yeah. Because as you're talking about, you know, CLG is one of the prime targets. They had to bring in Omar God. You know, they, they didn't plan on this big jungler switch this late in the season. And mm -hmm. they very clearly have more to do with him and, you know, and to bring him into the rest of the team. So. I actually yeah. feel pretty confident. It's it's good that they have Adrian in this picture because him yeah. coming in was one of the big boosters for Dig. And they have Altec in the other picture, who, if he continues to go off, and Keen, I think, is You're a big You're going to swing for the off. fences, Jat? I'm going the technically correct answer. How far can Dig go? <laughs> I don't think it's crazy if they uh, go to the finals. Top out. I don't think it should. Uh, I would say that, but because we decided to mix it up with the question, I'm going to go with or the other thing. All right, I'm going to stick with that in the middle. Semifinals yeah. is I'm where I over think there. they will land, but technically, yeah, if you want to go by where, how far can they go? Don't count them out. Slide number three, this or that, Karthus mid, viable or not viable? I like him. Uh, I have always liked Karthus though. You know, uh, it just for me, I'm not that good of a mid laner. Right. I like the feeling of being able to contribute into a team fight, even if my positioning isn't the best. And uh, you still get to get off some damage after you die and the ultimate affect everybody. But um, as far as like, yeah. I as far as being a power pick, this. definitely not. Because I don't see why teams started playing him, even if it's been sparing, because I just see him getting so hard countered by Locket. Tanks building Locket or stone play Locket means he's almost useless in those later game team fights. So is that laning That's such a hard thing to say though, because shields like counter damage of any kind. So he would shoot yeah, locket counter so all easy to AOE, maximize all damage from mid laners. You can't say like- ultimate. I just, I mean, true, maybe, maybe that's it, but I just see so many other better options. I'm gonna say not viable. Because I'd say I think it's viable because are too good against him. I'm gonna go technical on this one. Viable means you can use it in pro play. It has been used in pro play, a boom. Did it win though? Uh, viable. Okay, that, this, we're disagreeing a lot today. This is that's great. better. That's Slide better viewing four. experience. For this or that, who will win, Dig or CLG? Ooh. If Dig can go to finals, Dig can <laughs> beat CLG. Uh, but gosh, this one's tough because if we still played best of ones, I think I would say CLG because the first games in their series with Omar God were so dominating. Mm. But we play best of threes now and they look pretty bad in their next two games against Phoenix One. So I'm gonna say Dignitas and I'm gonna regret it later because every time I start putting faith in Dig, they start failing. Typical Dig Jat. Yeah, uh, all the time. <laughs> Just throughout history, I'm always picking Dig. Honestly, it, it becomes 
an interesting question just because of that jungle change you talk about. Mm. Omar is still a rookie and while he's getting more and more time with the team and they're improving, you know, bit by bit, it, the games are also getting more and more high pressure. Yeah. And, and that kind of changes, you know, he hasn't really had experience in playoff games. He hasn't had experience, you know, when yeah. the games are leading up. This is summer too, we have Worlds, this Worlds is on the line. And we also say like, if they didn't have this roster instability, Team Nigatos is one match win behind CLG in the standings. And they played most of this split with a different bottom lane who wasn't as successful. Yeah, This, all that being said, I still am gonna bring up who he versus Keen. Because to yeah. me, Keen has been playing really well for Team Dignitas, but I'm also unsure if he's gonna be able to keep up that performance and who he has been one of the best performing players on all, on all of CLG. Yeah. And if he you know, has a, a good series, like he draws all these bands, he's, he's still able to affect the rest of the map. So mm -hmm. I think even with the jungle change, I'm yeah. gonna put a lot of faith actually in who he and slightly go with that. Second matchup on Friday night. It's rare that one's a good one. All of playoffs are gonna be yeah. good this time around. You've never doubted them though, so I didn't even need to ask you this question. Let's get to the next slide of this or that. Better support carry, smoothie or ole? This was part of the MVP votes even, right? Yeah. At first, when you're whittling down your MVP vote, you want to whittle down to basically one player of each role. Get, and that's the, those are the easiest comparisons. Yeah. This is basically the peak though. Yeah, I mean nothing First against supports. Smoothie when I say that right now it's not even close between him and Ole. Smoothie has been great. I think his Taric play has been awesome, but I don't see games where I, I, I say Smoothie is the carry. I think Contracts and Jensen have done a lot more carrying than him. I think Ole is the guy. He makes such a big impact in the majority of their games, which right now I think it's- I feel like I have seen games where Smoothie carries, mm -hmm. and for me, the advantage that Smoothie would have in this uh, fight of supports is consistency. Smoothie has been so good uh, the entire time, basically all year long. All year long. I think last split, it was a, a conversation. I actually would put Smoothie above Ole, but I think Ole is really good right now. He's and, taking it to the next level. And since this is MVP, uh, is it MVP of the whole year or of just Better support carry, this or that. Oh, this is literally just yeah, better. Right, right now, now, better support yeah. carry. Uh, since they put the carry part in there, I might go more to Ole because he does a bit more roaming. But I have yeah. to say, Smoothie's team play is so good. When Redemption was first rushed item, mm -hmm. his Redemption's always perfect. His Taric play, as you said, for a team fighting. Yeah. Since the carry thing is added on here, we'll agree. That's what I mean, right? Nothing against Smoothie. The dude's a great support. Probably yeah. second biggest carry support in the NLCS right now but Ole is good number one. Back. Slide number six. Oh baby, Back Spice. To Speed to win, who did it better? Uh, Hauntzer or Dyrus? I gotta go with the classic, just right off the bat. It, he even has the outfit. Dyrus is a legend, basically. <laughs> basically. And whenever someone else, you know, starts to do that mm. strategy, uh, it's always compared to Dyrus. Yep. So you have to, you know, pay homage to the original. He would have to do so much feeding <laughs> to make this correct answer for Hauntzer, to make people switch their nostalgic memories of Dyrus dying five times and TSM winning the game. Okay. He would have to die like that for years. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> it didn't actually happen that often for Dyrus, but the memory is much stronger than actual. I agree, it's that. He has the outfit as well. He's embraced it. Yeah, it's fine. That's he all we got. He didn't that much. He didn't. Yeah. It happened in high pressure moments. You get credit for being the original. He's the yeah. one who started that meme. Yeah, not even close. 